today I'm going to show you how to draw a chameleon. I want to show you in the style of, ta -da! I can never pronounce it, <laughs> Onon Hammersley, <clears throat> she's still alive, she's English and she was born in 1957. We did a gibbon based on her and today we're going to do a chameleon. So all you need to do is get a pencil and a piece of paper. I want to show you some of the pictures she's done just based on what we're going to kind of be doing. So this one is a little snake. Look at that. Cool colours, isn't it? Love the purples and the blues. And then we've got a really cool frog. I love the way she draws. I feel like it's really bright, really positive. This is her little chameleon there. Very camouflaged, isn't it? And amongst all the foliage. And then we've got, I love frogs. So look at how cool that plant is, like how beautifully bold the colours are. And she's got a really lovely background for that. So today we are going to do a chameleon in the style of Hammersley. So I want to do, first of all, pencil, paper. I want to do a shape that looks a bit like, I guess it looks like a rainbow. So just do a rainbow. Can you see that I haven't done it all the way? So it's like a rainbow that just goes to a little bit there. I've done it roughly, quite loosely. Um, I've drawn it out beforehand just to help you because it's easy to sort of, when I'm drawing from the side, suddenly get it wrong. So you've got a, a rainbow. But if you're finding that a little bit difficult to, to think about how to do, you want to do, I suppose we could do, meh. Do you know what, just to help you, let's do the rainbow all the way. I just didn't want to because we've got to rub it out, but do you know what, I think it might help you better. So you're gonna do a rainbow, big rainbow. Then you're gonna to touch one side of the rainbow and just join it up. So it reminds me a little bit of an eye, but you're not joining it up, joining up flat and you're not joining it up really you. You're just joining up a little bit, just a little bit. And then you wanna to touch this bit here and you wanna go, out. So go out. Reminds me of a turtle now. And then you're going to go up. Can you see that it's not completely straight? I did like line and then went up and then went chow. So it's like a little hill. I went up and then around. And then what you want to do is you want to do the legs now, but before that, I want to do a tail. So touch this little bit here. And you're going to go down. Can you see that? Now, looks like a mouse now. <laughs> so you want to touch just about there. Put a dot just there. Quite thick. Probably two fingers worth. Depends how big your fingers are. And then you want to go. La, la, la. As you go down, it gets thinner and thinner. So the whole tail gets quite thin. Now we're going to do the legs, then we can start rubbing out things. So, one leg, really, really easy. We're just going to touch about there, where the tail is. Can you see? About there. Do a dot there, and then do a dot up here. So if you could just do that. It's almost like you've continued the tail. And then you're going to do this. You can do a line going this way, and a line going down. So it is a little bit like a L upside down. <laughs> And then this bit. So if you can't do that, just think upside down, a little bit like a, a strange J. Right. Now we're going to do, I'm going to draw the what he's standing on. This might help you. So I'm going to start off with a log, like a little twig. And the little twig's going to go, it's going to almost touch the body of the twig. going to come out like that. Right. So if you can see now, this is a twirl around the leg. Then you want to do this. Just do that shape. So it's a little bit like, you could just do a straight, straight, a straight shape up if you like. This is where his little hands are. Like he's got little hands that do that. So you could just do like a shape there. Now the other leg we're going to do here, but first I want to do this one, so just do a line here. Then you're going to go one, two, three. Make that into like a little leg because it's like he's clinging onto it. 
Then here, we're just gonna do, how do I show you that so it's a bit easier? Just here, draw a shape like this. That might help. Then, go straight up, so it's like diagonal. And then you're gonna do, do that little shape. So all it is, we did a line up, then we did, this one's quite tricky, but just bear with me. I think it'll be okay once we get going. Then you're gonna go, it's like a little baby sausage, that is. And then you're gonna go, so just make the hand, just, I'd say the arms and the hands are the hardest. And then you're gonna go, now we're nearly finished, we want one more arm. So we're gonna go, well, you wanna change the face of the shape, uh, the shape of the face. So touch this bit here, and you're gonna go in, down. So think about the, sh the, the head, it goes in, down, because now you're gonna rub out this, you're gonna rub out all here. I can't do the other leg till we've done that. So rub out, let's rub out loads while we're here. So get your rubber, I'm gonna rub out, rub out all there. So whatever's in the way of the feet, can you say, you see now how it's it's quite tricky but the good thing about YouTube videos is you can pause it and go back again so just bear in mind if that's difficult go back and just have a look at what I've done each time I'm not going to draw that just yet because it's wet so what I want to do is rub out a bit more <laughs> just remember <laughs> gotta rub out there and anywhere where the head is. So that line that we did, rub that out. You don't need that anymore. You see it's coming together now. It looks pretty awesome. Don't worry if yours looks a bit strange. I always have to work into mine and it takes a bit of time till I get it right especially because a chameleon is not the easiest thing to draw, so don't worry if you can't get it quite right. While we're letting it dry, I'm just gonna do the back of him. So we're gonna do a really cool pattern, a bit like that. And then you could maybe just do some wobbly lines. You could do a cool shape on his body. And maybe, it doesn't really matter what you do. It's just nice to decorate him. Quite like doing a few lines there. Let's do a few lines on his arms. I quite like showing that his joints, like his elbows and his knees are quite rounded. It's quite nice to show. Right, now I'm gonna do the eye. So where you've got this, just do a little line. And then here, you've just got the mouth. And all we need to do is, that's a bit of a roundy bit there, and this is gonna go down, so we're gonna just touch this and go down. I want this really cool eye. So it's kind of like that. So that looks pretty awesome. And we can just decorate that with some shapes if we like, it's up to us. But what you wanna do is we're gonna do the other arm, and then I want to, oof, just moved something. It's a box of pencils on the floor. Um, I want to do the other arm which goes, so it's like a little, just touch there and go, and then you know, he's kind of holding, it looks like he's holding his other hand, but I don't think he is. But we're gonna rub out whatever's in that shape, so it doesn't matter, whatever shape you've got is fine. Now because it's got lines on the other leg, we could do this one once it gets going. Right, now. All we need to do is colour it in, but they've got like the awesomest spikes on their back. It's not really spikes, but they look like spikes. So you can add those. It's got some cool kind of 
things there as well. So you can add all your detail, you can decorate it however you like. I am going to do mine. I'm just going to make mine up because if you look at her creatures, they've got like really bright colours. So I'm going to do, I'm going to take oil pastel, but you could take anything. I'd even go as far as to say paint it for sure, like painting it would be great. So I'm just going to colour it however I kind of like. Do Yellow always looks great because it's so bright. You know, I think anything that's bright really looks good on a picture. You can't always do things bright because not everything you draw is bright, is it? But if you can, try and draw things that are bright because it looks awesome. Okay, then we want light green. Let's do a bit of light green. I'm just going to, I think I'm going to do all of that light green. Where else can I do some light green? I'm going to go in there. There's so many colours of a chameleon because they change. <laughs> so they basically change colours um, to fit their environment. So if he's on the tree, he's going to be quite green, depending on if the tree is green. And do you know what? I really like the idea of doing some orange because orange always makes things stand out. It's pretty awesome, orange. Do you know what? I really like blue though. I'm going to give him a bit of a tummy that's blue. Oh, yes. Look at that. That's awesome. Can't stop saying awesome. <laughs> uh, so it's really fun to just design your own coloured chameleon. It doesn't have to be like mine. Just any colours that you like. You might want to do your favourite colours. So I've done that. Now I'm going to do red for the eye, just because I want to. And I might do orange in the middle of the eye. Oh. Now anything you colour in, you need to sort of go round it with some kind of colour or some kind of line. So if you've done oil pastel, go over it maybe with a black um, oil pastel. Or if you've done chalk, go over it with... What could you go over it with? Maybe maybe uh, oil pastel as well, or chalk, chalk pastel. I'm going to use an orange to go over mine, just because I want to outline him. But you could outline yours with black, really. But I want to give him this kind of colour to him, because it's so bright, isn't it? I quite like outlining stuff. I mean, I don't really need to because I've got the black pen that I drew it with, but it's quite nice to outline. And it becomes really fun if you colour it all the colours you like. I'm going to get a black somewhere. <laughs> somewhere. I can't find a black, so I've got a dark blue. Let's get, I'm just doing a little bit of the eye. It's really nice to go round some stuff that you can't quite see. So if it's not standing out, like my orange that I did, didn't quite stand out, did it? Slightly disappointing, but it's quite good to know. So now I'm going over the orange, but it's still being shown. And I'm going to do it with a darker colour, so I've got dark blue. And that seems to work for me. I quite like that. So yeah, there we have my chameleon. If I was to do more, I would probably, because orange is a contrasting colour of blue on the colour wheel, it would look quite cool to just colour in with some orange actually. Then, awesome green tree would be nice. Let's have a look. Now, for her pictures, she's done a background. So I would suggest doing a background colour, but you don't have to. I might do one. You could do one where you do loads of watery paint and use a straw to blow it. Ooh, so we're going to smudge that a little bit. Smudge away. 
Oh, it's very hot in here. I record with lots of hot lighting on my phone. Whew, this is quite toasty. So, what you need to do is, if you want to, you can colour in the rest of the background or just keep it as it is. I quite like the idea of the background because we could do some splosh colours or something. I'm going to get a yellow. Oh, no, I've just seen something. Yeah, yellow chalk pastel. I wouldn't normally use chalk with oil pastel, really. I only do it every now and then because it's hard to smudge when you hit the oil. But if you want to be super fast, you could put like a yellow background. That's just quicker than using uh, oil pastel. But you could even do a yellow background and then you could do like you could outline the yellow background and do maybe like um what could you have you could have like an orangey bit that you do around here because i like mixing colors and blending around can you see it just kind of looks a bit different it's kind of cool it looks like it's glowing so yeah, it's your choice. I like the idea of doing the chameleon black and white as well. I think that would really work well. So have fun doing that. Like, subscribe and share. And let me know how you get on. See you soon.